Hi, my name is Ryan Klink, and I am the tech lead for Mainspring's Application Development Department. Today, I'm going to show you how to build a dialog in five minutes. Uh, we often find the, the need to inform the end user about something in the process of, of forming a task or, or uh, reminding them of something. And uh, we find that our clients really like uh, dialogues or alerts created in this way because it offers a lot of flexibility. Uh, that's both in terms of look and in terms of follow-up actions that we can give to the end user. You know, with this method that we're going to show you here, uh, you could you could have any FileMaker layout object uh, on there that, that you could on a normal layout. So it uh, gives you a lot of options and a lot of freedom. Uh, so we'll start this off here. I'm going to open up this new file that I've got on my desktop, uh, and it's just a blank FileMaker file, nothing in there right now. And I'm going to start off in layout mode, and I'm going to create a brand new layout. I'll call it Alert Dialog. And I'll do a form layout, and I'm going to start by removing my header and my footer because I do not need them. I'll change my measurement to points here. I'm going to do 300 points for width, Select the body part on the left here and do 400 points for height. Uh, and then while the body part's still selected, I'm going to come up here to my appearance tab. And I'm going to change that fill color to a solid white. Next up, I'm going to insert uh, a little image that I have on my desktop, this little alert image. I center it towards the top here. I'm going to do a little bit of text as a header of sorts. I'll pick that at 22 points with a uh, solid black color. Next, I'm going to insert a merge variable. And this is what is actually going to store the message that we present to the end user. Make sure that fills out the layout. And I'll make this 18 or 14 points with black text. And I'll also center that. And finally, I need a button to actually close this out, give them some way to get out of here. We'll come back to that in a second. We'll just say this is going to say dismiss. I'm going to change some of the appearance attributes here. I'm going to say give it a solid red color with no lines. white text. Repeat that for every state of this button. And now I've got the actual dialog set up here uh, and all I have to do next is just set up our scripts to to call and close. So I'll start with closing it. I'm going to open up my script workspace. I'm going to create a brand new script called dismiss alert. And all this is going to do is it's going to clear out that global variable that we have set up to display the message. And then we're just going to call close window current window. Now all I need to do is set up a script to actually call that, that alert. Start by setting a variable message with whatever I pass in as a script parameter. That allows me to, to call this in multiple places with a different message. And then I'll do a new window with the alert dialog, and it's going to be a card window. So the card window allows it to be modal to the parent window. Uh, and I'm going to remove that close uh, function just because we already have that dismiss button there. And then I'll place a button here. And I'll call open alert and I'll pass in some sort of a message. And now I can just click on this button and I'll get this message uh, 
that I passed in, and I can click to, to dismiss it. And of course, that's a pretty basic example, but uh, you could have this layout have anything that you want on it, again, including any, any ballot file maker interface object. Uh, so you get a lot in terms of flexibility and, and possibilities. Thanks so much.